Clap so hard, Becky would be jealous. Huh? Welcome Ooh. to the Gravity Cancel Podcast. Hello and welcome to episode 31 of the Gravity Cancel Podcast. We're your hosts, Sergeant Spanking Sorox, sponsored by Jepson's Malort. I'll have another. Rox, how you doing today? Doing fantastic, bro. How about you? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. You know, you don't call me bro often, and it kind of it kind of caught me off guard. Really? Yeah, really? It, I'm used to player. I guess I usually... Alright. <clears throat> pretty good player, how about you? Doing good, man. Doing good. Is that better? Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. You have a, did you have a good weekend? Uh, Yeah, not too bad. Watched a hell of a lot of anime. Drank all my uh, ration wine that I had saved up for Hurricane Ian. Yeah, you survived, huh? Oh, yeah. No damage? Yeah, uh, there's a couple branches outside on the ground. I will say that. Couple of branches. Couple, couple of small, pointy branches. They just hey, send Frankie out there and clean it up. <laughs> That's one thing that my dogs have never done. They never really go after sticks. They're more like squeaky just, toy dogs. Yeah, more like ankles. <laughs> ankles. <Yeah. laughs> All right, Rox. So it's been a been a little while. Um, coming off a guest episode, which was a uh, it was a fun one. Um, had had oh, yeah. two of our fans on it, two of our friends. And uh, they, they gave us some thoughts on Brawlhalla. All things Brawlhalla. Yeah. Um, and multiverses. Can't and and that. multiverses, man. What a game, dude. What a game. The hype that surrounded that. 150,000 peak players, and now they're chilling at a cool 6,000. I see Steam. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. yeah. Hit me with some current Steam chart numbers. Multiverses Steam charts. Uh, 33 minutes ago, 7,100. Rough man, Brawl is sitting at probably 13k all day. It actually is right at 13k. Yes, dude. It's like I know these things, man. Oof, oof. Uh, it's so like you had it pulled up already. I, I did not. I actually did not. I haven't looked at it since about eight o'clock this morning. You know, my my daily my morning routine. Take a look at the Steam charts numbers. Make sure Brawl is still on top. Uh, rocks. I guarantee you actually do that. Um, <laughs> me, yes, hello. I have a rant for you. Do you have a rant for me? Uh, I'm sure I could find one. Give me a second. Let me just. I mean, really you don't have my... to. This is this is kind of my bit, but like I, I like to get your rants too. I'm sure I'll rebound off yours. Give me yours. I'll all right, hear all right. Salty winners, man. I can't stand salty winners. You have a good explain, match. Go ahead. I need you to explain a salty winner. Give, All right. me, give me a situation you've been in. All right. So you're playing a match, and mm -hmm. it's As close. It's close. Yep. Real close. Just. And then, you know, they, they get one lucky signature. They get one lucky side air, and they take the match. And then you're like, all right, I want to run it back. You ask for the rematch. You get two thumb cores down, come Thor's down. Come Thor's down, yes, yes. And then they just bounce out. It's like you could have like you could have just taken the rematch and beat me again. But but no. You want No, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. Listen, if it's a close match, you play ranked to get your ELO up. If it, it was a close match that you might have lost. This is experimental, man. This is experimental. Re oh experimental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no stakes here. You could have started with that. I mean, it happens sometimes in rank two. Okay, the, the the difference in rank is like you get smoked by someone, and then you're like, ah, oh, like let me try again. You're like, I want to lose more elo. Yes, for the rematch. Two come Thor's down, and they bounce. It's like, no, dude. Like, come on, man. Or take the free low. Take the free yeah, low. Yeah, yeah. Or they invite you to a lobby after beating you, only to tell you like how bad you are. Like. Dude, just go take your win and leave. <laughs> <laughs> you already told me you took my elo. Let me have my pride. On the flip side, how about you just take your L and leave, bro? Dude, salty losers are a different story, man. Like, I'm not I'm not a salty loser myself, but like, if I smoke you, three stock, like, don't invite me to the lobby and tell me how bad I am. Like, I just beat you. You uh, so I posted this the other day. That kid that invited me after, like, I, it was an okay match. Like, I beat him pretty handedly. 
but he invited me. And then he does the the whole, he locks him as his legend. Or no, he locks him as random. He locked him as random. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll play this game. I lock in as random. He quick swaps to his main and then oh, yeah. he gets smoked again. So I do remember you telling me about I that. I smoke him as a random character like four times. And then he starts calling me out. He's like, oh, you're spamming. I'm like, dude, I've never played more decks outside of like just being drunk and playing. Like, what do you expect out of me? I'm going to spam. I don't know how to play this character. But no, I beat him up and down the up and down the road 10 times. And then he's still salty about it. Up and down it. the road. Still salty about it, man. Salty people in general just rub me the wrong way. Like, either take your win and leave, or hold that L. Like, don't, don't hit me with some salt, man. Well, as good of a rant as that is, it inspired no rants from me. That's I'm all chill right. today. That's all right. No anger. I, uh, I actually like. I wasn't feeling that rant until I started going, and then, and then it just felt right. Felt right. Yeah, you, you, your rants usually tend to pick up about halfway through. <laughs> That's fair. You got to get the passion behind it, man. So, uh, Rox, what are, what are we talking about today? Oh, brother. Probably how we got destroyed by Stingray. <laughs> Probably how we got uh, destroyed by, uh, who is it? Santi and Stingray? Santi and Stingray. Um, Oof. I, I wouldn't say destroyed. I us. mean, hey, we took a stock off each of them, both games. Fun fact. Uh, you were the first one to lose the stock in each match, and the first one out in each match. Just putting that little bit of information out there. They knew that I was the bigger threat, therefore they targeted me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. They, they looked up my elo, and they're like, whew, <laughs> this guy. It, it was it was fun. We got, we won our, won our first match, lost, and then lost in the losers immediately. Yeah, yeah. No DQs this time, though, which was nice. Yeah, our first match was pretty, pretty easy. Um, shout out. That was the, wasn't that the, uh, the couch co-op guys? Yeah, I think we lost the couch co-op No, guys. no, no, we beat couch co-op guys. And that's what got us against Santi and Stingray. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. And then I can't remember who knocked us out, but they were, they were pretty decent. I think they were, one was a diamond and one was like a low to mid flat. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a close match. We ended up getting a uh, time from 97th place out of 147. But, dude, so we went one and two. Our boys... Hey, if, if that was BCX, we'd be in the money. We'd be in the money, man. But our boys, Mio and Nova, they went two and two, man. Hell yeah. They got 65th. What'd they end up ranked? 65th. 65th? Yeah. Hell yeah. It was a uh, love to see it. win-loss, win-loss. And it was, uh, it was pretty close, I thought. Um, I think... They were streaming it, uh, streaming one of their matches, and we ended up watching it. But. Then you, you missed out on 1v1 weekend. Oh, yes. I uh, drank too much, watched too much anime, slept in. <laughs> I don't even know if I signed up, honestly. I No, you did. You did. Um, oh, I did? I'd have to go back and look, but uh, I know you, you signed up. Um, the, uh, my... I, I wish I would have overslept because my matches were not very fun. I, uh. Oh, yeah? First match uh, against a Wushong, like, hard mid gold Wushong, I dropped the first match. And I'm like. My cat's being out the door. I'm like, uh, you know, this is not how I should be playing. Ended up coming back and won the next two. So I, I, I won my first first game. Then I got back-to-back -back fates and got stomped the next two matches. It was horrible, man. It was not fun. So, consider yourself lucky for, for oversleeping. You know, I was kind of peeping ahead to the uh, the next uh, part of the show notes here, the community tournament weekend. Yeah. Moose Wars didn't steal our name this year. Well, it's because we don't have a Let's name Let's go. Yet. Well, they're the Monster Mash. Oh, they're doing Monster Mash? Oh, yeah. They should have done Monster Nash, but, you know. Dude, that would have been... We should, we should do Monster Nash. <laughs> we absolutely should. Yeah, so uh, before we get to Community Tournament Weekend, did you happen to catch any of the actual, like, really good people uh, on Autumn Championship? You know, the professionals? No, I was busy the rest of the day. 
So uh, in singles, Stingray got fourth place. So we can say we lost to uh, fourth place single player. So that's kind of cool. So that's technically like getting fifth place. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's like getting fifth place. Uh, Luna ended up pulling out first place, Pierre second place, Java third place, and Stingray fourth place. No one really cares about Europe, South America, or Australia, so we won't talk about that. Oof. Um, <laughs> well, by no Oof. one, by no one, I mean BMG and ignoring their server issues. <laughs> Shots fired. You're trying to you're trying to get as many comments on this video. As <laughs> you're acting like they're going to finally get some. They have to make it past the 10 minute mark to to hear that. So, um, so you kind of alluded to it. Tournament weekend, community tournament weekend coming up October 22nd. You got North America with Moose Wars, Brawl League, EU, and Asta Chow. South America 1v1 and 2v2. I think that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, respectively. $10,000 tournament prize split between both events, $5,000 per bracket. So, uh, not bad. Not bad at all for community tournaments, man. That's Hit that shit up. Some professional, like, not professional, but some, like, uh, circuits of actual fighting games, like, sponsored by the developers aren't even that high so uh and if you're a viewer not competing you can uh you can get some free avatars of each of those respective communities uh i would say the the ranking on that goes moose wars brawl league and then essa chow because essa chow looks like a ghetto internet explorer avatar when's the low tier city uh last weekend Last weekend? No, this weekend. It was this weekend. Oh. And it's no longer... Me and Nova were talking about this. It's no longer called Low Tier City. It's Lost Tech City? I found a Low Tide City. It's Lost Tech City now. And Brawlhalla wasn't even on the docket. Bruh. Yeah, you had Strive. Bruh. You had Ultimate Melee Strive, Multiverses, Tekken, Dragon Ball... Street Fighter, King of Fighters, and Smash Bros. 64. Yeah, so no Brawlhalla to be seen, but... Never equipping my Lost Tech City emblem again. Um, you know, those were better days. It, it, low Tier City. Low Tier City were better days. Actually, in Top 8, Coxlix... Co Coxlix. <laughs> Coxlix. Whoa! Coxlix. Sorry, my homie. Coxlix. Uh, Kosalix faced Sandstorm in multiverses. Who won? Uh, Sandstorm did. Ah. Don't quote me on that. I'm but shocked. I, I think Sandstorm won that. Uh, I think it was 2v2 as well, but that's neither here nor there because it's multiverses and multiverses is not a good game. So anyways, two weekends from now, three weekends from now, check out the community tournament weekend. And, uh, and then, like, four weekends from now, check me out at BCX. It is four weekends from now, huh? We're a month yep. away from BCX, and hopefully uh, Foda lets me have my... Or lets you have my package for uh, the uh, jersey and, and goodies. Probably just gonna keep it. Get the jersey framed. <laughs> Put it up behind you. Yeah, so that's four weekends from now, huh? No, it's five weeks from now. Whatever, same thing. Speaking of community tournaments, um, we talked a bit about this before um, starting recording. But Rox, I think it's time for another tournament. Yep, yep, we're doing the Spanksgiving special. So, <laughs> yeah. So I think what we're going to do, back-to-back -back months, I don't, are we going to just do normal tournaments or are we going to do, like, something different? I don't know. Let's, hmm. Hmm. I think, okay, here's what I think. What if we limited it to legends that have Thanksgiving, wait, do we have Thanksgiving mm. skins? Mm -mm. All right, well, BMG's gotta drop a Thanksgiving event this year. Spoiler, I, I, got, I, got, I got people on the inside. And then every legend that has, well, I guess it'd just be two legends. Fuck. Let's do. Let's do. Well, for Christmas. Well, do you, you can only play a legend that has a Christmas skin. No, come on. Do you want to do one v one for Thanksgiving, two v two for Christmas? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so we're doing a one v one tournament for Thanksgiving, the Spanksgiving special for Christmas. 
2v2. Roxin around the Christmas tree. That's me. That's Roxin. I'm that guy. And uh, we'll figure out some prize pools, hopefully similar to what we did last time. Maybe bigger. We'll see. Now that we're sponsored, if you're of age, maybe we'll send you a bottle of Malort. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy, though. Speaking of uh, worst enemies... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> uh, Return to Demon Island. I was going to say, I don't know how you're tying that in. <laughs> uh, I, I love that Demon Island's back I'm glad people get one of the coolest colors in the game One of the coolest Satori skins Coolest Petra skin dude Coolest Petra emote bro The new emotes you get Are top The animated one, the laughing Petra The laughing Petra's so good And I, I do I like the Hattori it. rip She looks stoned as fuck dude <laughs> Looks like she just got bonked by the big <laughs> sword we also got. Great sword and with a great sword spikes skin. on it. Yeah, it's, it's clean, man. It's clean. Oh, brother, that looks nice. Uh, what else did we get? We got the UI. I like, the UI I like is the awesome. UI. I'm using that right now. And then the titles, man. Deity of Demon Island is the swaggiest title. I'm going to keep Sweaty. Sweaty's, for a while. Sweaty's good. I like Sweaty. I like Frosty, but. I'm rocking the deity of Demon Island. Oh, we need to run Sweaty and Frosty together. Uh, we were running that for a while. Oh, well, I guess that <laughs> it shows how uncool it is because nobody noticed. <laughs> I noticed, I noticed. Uh, so yeah, if you didn't get to Demon Island on the first time, now's your chance. 85 tiers, all the awards you could ever want. And uh, yeah, man, enjoy it because it was, it was a good time. The first battle pass, man. That was a good time. That was mm -hmm. like, what, probably three months after COVID started? Yep, it, I was so pumped to hear that there was a battle pass coming. It was, dude, uh, it was such a good time and a, a very, very sad time. So uh, with with this, uh, small aside, <clears throat> the same patch that, that gave us this gave us placement matches. And, uh, dude. You lucky dog. Uh, yeah, I hadn't played 10 placement match, or I hadn't played 10 matches this ranked season yet. I. So, I had thought the season was ending like three weeks ago. So, I was like, shit, man. I'm, I'm one match away from platinum. I'm like, I can't not get platinum. So, I'm like, I play my match, I lose my first one. And then I win, and I'm back to where I was. And then I went, I think I won again, and it was like one point shy. And then I lose. So I had played like five placement matches to get what one placement, or not placement match, five ranked matches to get what one ranked match should have got me. Mm -hmm. And then I just stopped playing. I'm like, all right, I got platinum, cool. So then they drop this patch, and I'm like, all right, let's go, let's go check out some ranked. And I get to do my placements. I end up winning my next five. And I get 1930, I think it was. So I jumped 300 ELO approximately. Absolutely rigged. Dude, it's... it's I want a... you to go play 10 matches right now, see what your ELO is after that. So <laughs> I went and played... Uh, let's see, I played about 7 or 8 matches. I won the first 3, man. And then I lost the next 5. <laughs> I'm back to where I started and I, I called it a day. So for anyone who hasn't played their matches, go play your place matches, see where you end up. And if you end up higher, I'm saying that like BMG's being very courteous with this algorithm. Because I think if you end up doing okay, you're gonna end up higher than you were. And then diamond's not nearly as valuable. But, but we also got, you wanna tell them? You want to you want to tell them this like five day old news? What, what news? Break it. The new rank, bro. Above down. Dude, I, I don't I, I don't care about that, man. I don't care about that at all. So Sounds a little salty because you know you'll never get it. I'm not salty. It's just like it applies. Salty. It applies to what 150 people. Salty. Ever? No. Th salty. So yeah, you needed to do that and make it so people are actually tin and bronze and silver for that matter. 
sure. I don't know about that one because the the fucking the seasonal rank playlist. Whenever you start off, you start off at like ten or bronze or some shit like that. It takes forever to even get to gold. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, but there's people that are in silver that should not be in silver. As in, like, they're trash? Exactly. Spread it out, man. You've got you've got all these ranks already. Don't just create a new rank because you got some professionals whining about it, dude. Alright. <laughs> before we I disagree. Be new rank's awesome. Before we make more enemies, let's let's get on to the next and, and, thing. And the way the new rank works is also awesome. No, yeah. Training yes. mode in Q. Ranked the, uh, the new ranked mode or the way it works is cool. I do agree with that. Uh, training mode in Q. Uh, I don't really give two shits about this, but everyone seems to love it, so I'm all for things that people enjoy. Did you Actually, I take that back because now I can just put my controller down, grab my phone, and there's not four different people swinging at me while you. we're waiting on a match. You switched over to it, right? You switched over to training. Oh mode. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, also, fun fact, fun glitch, if you're doing uh, 3v3s, the third person <laughs> will just spawn two bots, and one of the bots will just attack the uh, training mode bot. I thought I, was, cool. I thought I was losing my mind when that happened, because like you guys weren't saying anything, and I was just raging about it. I'm like, I can't play training mode! And then it happened to you, so good to know it's not just a glitch. Well, I mean, it is a glitch, but not just a glitch that affects me. And we got some bug fixes, game improvement, network performance options for Windows. All that's Gucci. It seems to be really... it seems to be running smoother, right? Other than it taking yeah. ages to boot up. I mean, out of every other game I play, it's uh, pretty fast. It's, it's it's pretty quick. It's it's pretty quick. You know, talk about a game that loads real slow. Guilty Gear Strive. That oh god, dude, Lord. they fixed it and it's still slow. <laughs> I think it was, I can't remember the game, but someone was like, uh, someone was booting it up and they were like a speedrunner and they ended up speedrunning their game faster than it loaded up. Huh. Granted, their, their speedrun game was like, you know, it was like 65 second game or whatever, but yeah, it was, it was wild, man. Um, all right. Uh, is that it for news? No, the biggest news or the news I'm most excited for, maybe not the biggest news. Brawlhallavania rocks. Oh, dude, buddy. talk about a crossover I didn't expect. Less than GI Joe. For whatever reason, this was not on my radar at all. I'm so excited for it. I'm also excited for the new season. You, I can't believe you've not watched the show. It's so good. It's I so good. I can't watch anime, man. I guess it's not technically anime. Um, it's an animated show. I just can't watch animated shows. I tried watching Tekken Bloodline, and like, I'm just like, eh. I got 15 minutes through it. No fun. Tekken Bloodline. It just came out. Netflix special. It's pretty, pretty okay. For looks like some shit for kids, bro. Mm -mm. That ain't real anime. No, it's it looks solid, man. Uh, it's just not my not my flavor. And just like uh, Tekken Bloodline, Castlevania anime is not my, my not my flavor. But we're getting Simon Belmont and Alucard. I'm so pumped for Alucard. You're not gonna catch me not playing Alucard for at least like two months. Are you gonna get Jala or the the Simon Jala skin? Uh, no, I've already been burned on a Jala crossover that I don't play. Two of them, right? Did you buy both crossovers? I don't think so. I just bought Maggie. What's the other one? Uh, I'm not, I'm not remembering it right now. <laughs> Jala crossover. I know she's got another one, right? Oh, uh, uh, Finn. Oh, Finn. Yeah, you didn't buy Finn. Fuck no. Here's bro. the thing. Jala has so many good skins. Like, a crossover's whack, man. Yeah. You can bear a crossover? Every, every, every single skin she has is good. Uh, Silver Age? It's okay. I mean, if you're a Wonder Woman fan. Yeah. But yeah, Alucard, man, uh, I'm I'm on that skin too, dude. I've been playing a lot of Ezio. I'm all over that. 
Uh, did they announce anything else we're getting with it, or is it just the skin so far? Hmm? I don't think so. I'm feeling a little fruity right now. Oh. I'm seeing space. <laughs> a little what? Hey, hey Dustin. I'm feeling a little fruity right now, so I'm seeing space. <laughs> like the joke, man. Well, that you have. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to record a podcast so if you just <laughs> fuck off, that'd be awesome. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye, Dustin. Did your food ever get here? Yeah. What'd you order? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Alright, what were we talking about? Uh, Brahalovania. And I, I, I think we've covered it. My last question was, did they announce anything other than the skins? We're, oh. We're not getting anything else? I don't think so. Let me double check. I, I don't think there was. I mean, I'm sure we're getting other stuff. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I don't think they've... I don't know what we would get. I'm sure we'll get avatars. A KO effect could be cool. A podium? Oh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get a KO effect. I, I would probably fuck with the Brahalovania podium. Yeah, it looks like they just... Uh, yeah, they just shut off the skins. <clears throat> some of the signatures. So yeah, that's coming out a couple weeks, October 19th, 17th, 19th, October 19th, yeah, October 19th. All right, Rox, ready to get in the topic of the podcast? Well, sure, let's talk about it. So, um, I want to talk, coaching. yeah, a bit about coaching. So, I figured this was appropriate with uh, last episode's guest, our boy Nova, uh, ended up getting a coaching session from Faison shortly after that episode. Um, where'd it go? I had it pulled up. So he had a one hour session and it was like a, um, Faison would watch his ranked matches and then provide feedback. So he ended up, um, there was a video of it and then I had Nova send over the session notes. And it was like pretty... Not general uh, information. Like, it was very specific to, to how Nova plays. Um, mm -hmm. But it was like... How would I describe it? It was general to Cassidy. So, like, Nova just played Cassidy the whole time. And it was just, like, information about how to use Cassidy appropriately. Which is kind of interesting to me. Because I figured mm -hmm. it would be more about, how, <clears throat> like, how Nova plays. Mm-hmm. And, and maybe they got into that, um, you know, in, in voice chat or whatever. But all the all the notes were about like, oh, use D-Light and Sig on Hammer. It's like, well, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> um, and then it was about like, um, uh, there was some information about blasters. But a lot of it was about using Cassidy's signatures appropriately. Which just really struck me as odd, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so... And this wasn't this wasn't Nova's first coaching session. Nova also had coaching with Koslix. and uh, yeah, he really seemed to enjoy both experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said they were very different, but uh, he thought they were well worth it. And just playing with him ever since then, um, there's a, a different approach to the game. Like uh, he he kind of he plays the, he plays similar. But the way he talked about it afterwards is way more um, in tune with what he needs to do, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I think he definitely got his money's worth. Um, so, oh, absolutely. So I just, would, would you ever consider coaching? Like, would you ever get a coach? Uh, I don't see why not. Who would? You I would. I would. I would definitely want Duke. Do you want Duke to coach you? Have you ever watched the streams where he coaches Cirrus on uh, yeah, yeah, his yeah. ranked gameplay? Yeah. He's so mean to him. Oh, it's great. It's amazing. Um, Why are you doing that? <laughs> that's the kind of coaching I would actually like. probably benefit the most from. We talked about the Sayers. <laughs> that's the type of coaching I'd benefit the most from. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think I would ever get a coaching session for a couple of reasons. One, I don't really vibe with any professional like play style. I don't want to play mm -hmm. the game that way. I don't want them to tell me to play the game how they play the game. I think if if I were to get coaching, 
it would need to be from someone who like just has a really good understanding of a weapon that I want to learn to play. Like, okay, I've really wanted to learn sword for a while. It just doesn't click. I just need someone really good at sword that can just tell me how to play sword. Don't well, tell that's, me that's any pro. Well, but what I'm saying is, don't tell me, so oh, you're pick. you're doing this wrong or you're doing this wrong. Like, no, this is how I want to play this weapon. But just tell me like. The true combos, utilize this, abuse this. That's all I want. Don't tell me I'm playing it wrong. Because um, I'm not trying to go pro. I'm just trying to enjoy my game. I just want to play Sword a bit better. All right, here's what you do. You get a coaching session on Sword. Yeah, pick, maybe. Uh, pick, your, pick your favorite Sword player. Maybe. Um, the other reason I wouldn't really consider it is because, like, Brawlhalla is the only fighting game... I'm aware of that coaching is pretty prominent. Like the professionals advertise it a lot. People seem to kind of seek it out a bit, even mm -hmm. at a non-professional level. Like people will seek out coaching sessions with like low diamonds. You don't have that in other fighting games. It's a very mm -hmm. foreign idea. Like, sure, you can go on Metify and you can find a Street Fighter Five coach, but mm -hmm. people don't do it. And I think that's just because, like, there's a, a grassroots mentality in the fighting game community where it's like, go play and learn it. Like, mm -hmm. that's how you're going to get really good at the game is playing and learning it. Not someone who's really good telling you how to play. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I think coaching's, coaching's pretty unique to Rahala as far as fighting games go. And I don't know how it how it pans out to like other competitive esports like obviously like team-based games coaches are probably more relevant right yeah like um that's what i was going to bring up with the the next question that you had on here should coaching be allowed during tournaments and I'm, I'm curious on what your thoughts are on that because that was one of my favorite parts about uh professional halo back in the day is you'd have a guy on his like iphone 2 with a with a app <laughs> that had like every weapon timer and so like you'd have a guy screaming in everybody's ear that like snipers up in 30 then he'd count down from 10 and like oh. grenades are spawning over here and it was awesome so it was it was live during matches coaching like yeah yeah like as it was occurring see i think that's kind of that's kind of whack um no i i think in the in the moment of the game for team-based games in the mm -hmm. moment of the game, it should be the team communication, you know? It should be, like, someone calling out, hey, I picked up Sniper, Sniper's up in 30. Whatever, you know? I, I, I drop Sniper, Sniper's up in 30. I don't know how Halo works, but whatever it is. That should be all, all be within the team. Fighting games. Mm, I don't know. Team-based game? Football, basketball. All got coached. Just... And Do, I'm pretty sure football, don't you have, like, headsets? Yeah, but are they only live during, like, the uh, huddle? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't either. Um, I guess. But, like, in in real life sports, you don't have, like, cooldowns. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't have a coach. Well, it wasn't always. It wasn't always cooldowns and stuff like that so they'd call out like oh sniper and tower blah -dee -da. yeah okay yeah. like someone would call out oh there's a sniper over here and then the coach recognizes that like there's another player that's maybe engaged with a totally yeah. different situation and he'd call out that player specifically to to not back up because he's going to be in range of the sniper, that kind of stuff. I guess that... It just it adds to the team element. Yeah, I guess that would be okay. Role. I think it's fun. Well, what if... Okay, hear me out on this. Okay, so Halo... What was professional Halo? Was it four or five players? Four. Four. So what if you had a five-player team, but the fifth player was the coach? But they had to play like every other match. So like you'd rotate out the coaches. Mm, no, because it's not really a role within the game, and there's a lot of coaches and like I mean, even still, like you can watch professional Brahalo on Twitch every month or so whenever they do their tournaments. But like the coaches are all like retired pros that yeah. aren't as good as they used to be, but they they use their they have, game knowledge yeah. to help coach. 
And a good coach doesn't mean they're good at the game. Right, right. That's that's fair. Um, I think with with Brawlhalla, I, I think you should only allow... And I, I go back and forth on this. You should only allow coaching between games. Like, you... Or... One of two ways. You either only allow coaching between games, or anything that the coach is saying, it can't be, like, private. It can't be in a headset. And this only works for LAN, you know? That's when we start getting the uh, vibrating butt plugs and anal beads. <laughs> Have you been keeping up with any of that drama? <laughs> no, what? Oh my god. So, there's been accusations in the professional chess world. The the guy who's been like number one for like two years, he's went like undefeated, got beat twice by uh, the guy who's ranked <laughs> like 36. Okay. He, he, he beat him... Uh, which apparently is very much not a thing that happens in chess. Right, right. If you're top, you're uh, top. Yeah, and you're not losing to number 36. If, if you're bottom, you're using some anal beads. And then like three, like three, uh, or like a couple weeks later, he plays them again, and the number one guy quit out on like turn three. Because he's like, this guy's cheating. There's no way. Wow. So obviously and, they and checked he for like. Accused him of using a, a vibrating, a remote controlled vibrating butt plug. And then like some same thing happened at like a big poker tournament. This chick won like 130k or something like that on like a really stupid hand. And as someone who doesn't really pay attention to poker or anything, but a lot of people are saying like, no, she just didn't know what she was doing. And. It seemed like the best bluff in the world or something. And um, she ended up winning with like an impossible to win with hand. <laughs> and he was like, she's got vibrating anal beads in. I mean. She's cheating. That's not something you just throw out. Like, that's obviously some secret tech. <laughs> that's not something you just come up with off the top of your head that this is how they cheated. Um, yep. We got anal tech to worry about now. So Barhalla Bar falls in a pretty unique place because a lot of the tournaments are all offline. Um, so you can't really like say, you know, oh no headsets, no private comms, those kind of things. But I think it'd be really fun in person if you allowed, you allowed coaching, but it it had to be like public knowledge, like, like corners in boxing or MMA. Like just shouting mm. out like, watch the D-Light. <laughs> And then, you know, both players know that they're watching out for the D-Light. Yeah. But... I don't know. In, in, I, I'm all for, like, in between. I don't see a point of it during, really. Like, what are they going to say? Dude, I, I don't know, but, man. Like, they could say you've dodged, you know, you've dodged in three times on this, you know, side light. But another thing is, like, with like shooter games game one is going to be like capture the flag then it's oddball then it's slayer and they're on different maps and like the a different map in shooters changes the game way more than a different map in Brawlhalla. right so like, you're you're at the end of the day it's just a platform your in-game coaching is more important than between round coaching. yeah and then well well even in between round coaching like because now the game's completely changing the objective and the map so that's where like the in-between coaching could be useful but what I, I guess what i'm trying to say is like brahala players like when they're on stage playing they're they immediately lock in right after they might change legends right and they just immediately lock in it's not like anything's changing it's just like all right i gotta do that same thing but not lose you know uh, what I'm saying? it does change a little bit though like if you had a coach saying, hey, you kept doing this, and this is why you were getting hit, or this is why you were losing stocks. I guess, yeah. But, like, yeah, ultimately, you know, they're probably just they're probably just flowing at that time, at, at that point in time, because they're just like, okay, yeah. you know, I, I just need to not get hit by this. They already know. They already know. I, know? Just, I just don't see anybody using them, honestly. I don't either, and it's not against the rules. It is nowhere in the Brawlhalla rule set, tournament rule set, that you can't use a coach. Hmm. So maybe. All right, well, there we go. I guess. Maybe they are using them, and we just don't know it. They got their AirPods in. 
Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, we haven't really had a LAN other than uh, what midseason. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, I just want to talk a bit about coaching. You know, I, I think it's a very interesting topic, both in the realm of um, you know casual people getting coaching from professionals, and uh, also just in tournaments. Maybe uh, maybe you and I should get a coach for our next tournament. See, I, th I think you should absolutely get a coach like in the next couple weeks and report back if you still feel the same way. All right, hold on, hold on. While, while that topic is fresh on your mind, Medify. Medify. All right, I'll let you pick who I get a coaching session from. Oh, come on, Medify. Don't do Medify. this. Medify.gg. Yeah. Should we both get a coaching session? Uh, perhaps. Prahala. Dude, one coach. Snipe socks. Live session starting at seven dollars. All right, here's what we're gonna do, Rox. You and I are gonna get a coaching session in the next All right. month. <laughs> I've already picked yours. Who? Uh, who? Wrenched. What's wrong with Wrenched? It's just funny because he like is the biggest multiverses simp right now. Oh, okay, fair, fair enough. And the biggest Brawlhalla hater. I think I'm gonna let you have Walshy. That sounds fun. All right, bet. Because Walshy uh, just reminds me of Halo. <laughs> That's the only reason. All right, so we gotta stop talking about Halo now. I want to go play Halo. I, I, you'll be disappointed. Uh, Let's see, Halo Infinite, Steam charts, Destiny Two. You know how Stadia is getting shut down. Yeah. Destiny Two had more players on Stadia than Halo Infinite had on Steam. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude. Halo Infinite set at forty-seven hundred right now. You can't get coaching from you can't get coaching from Hardy anymore. Hardy MJ is still on the list, but like when you click his page, it's like it's a it gives mm. you an error. That's sad. I want to get coaching from Hardy MJ. I need a. Are you even aware? I I just need a great sword coach. I don't care what's going on. I just need a great sword coach. I was about to say, are you even aware? He's banned. Banned. I, I know. I know. Just banned. Hardy, hop on your alt and give me a great sword coaching session. I'm your prodigy. Let's send it. Softy BJ. All right, man. Uh, <laughs> we're sitting 43 minutes deep. Send us out, rocks. Thank you. That's it. That's it. No, I was trying to think of a good outro. I was oh. trying to think of a good outro. You well, caught, you caught well, me off guard. You, you, you caught me off guard. You can plug our upcoming showdowns video. Um, uh, we have an upcoming showdowns video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out that. I've also. Who, got who the, is it? Uh, who, who's who's the legend? Uh, Ezio. Ezio. That's right. That's right. That's right. Rox. What's Ezio. his last name? Auditore. Auditore. Um, Ezio. It's a me. And Ezio. then um, I'm probably gonna edit our uh, Santi Stingray fight fights. Did you record that? Uh, uh yeah. Hell yeah, brother. I, well, I just went back in the game files and rewatched yeah, yeah, yeah. it and, yeah. and saved the clip. Uh, also, thank you, Jepsons Malort, as always. Have you uh, Spank, been Spank sharing Hanks that with people? Another. I have been. It's, I have been. What did you think of that video? I see my sister taking a shot. It's so funny watching people take shots of Malort, man. She folded <laughs> like a hair into the floor. It's so funny, man. I have mine sitting right behind me, but like I just put it there. Otherwise, it's sitting on the mantle above my fireplace. So that anytime Beautiful. someone comes in, they're like, and I'm, I'm like, you're taking a shot. I do that same thing. We're the same person. <laughs> but thank you. Getting real close to the camera. For watching. Bye. Bye. Ready? I'll have another. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you good? <laughs>